Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Dennis from ONGC Systems and today we're going to be looking at working with picture galleries or picture libraries in SharePoint. Now I have here my SharePoint page open and I've already gone ahead and created a picture library which I'm going to jump into now. Now at the moment I haven't uh, uploaded any images to this yet and this is a brand new library. So initially we're going to just come to upload and I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to select a picture to upload. Hit OK on that one and you'll notice uh, nice and quickly the picture has been uploaded and is displayed here in a thumbnail view. Now I can also upload multiple pictures at a time. Uh, via the same method I've just done and coming in and selecting either ticking or holding down uh, control and selecting multiple images and now you'll see the two images I've selected have uh, each been uploaded here. Now there's a few different um, views you can utilize when working with SharePoint. Uh, there's the all pictures view which is going to display all of the images you have in a list and this can be useful when working with customized columns or wanting to see all of this other information as far as picture sizes, file sizes, um, who's been working on the file or who's uploaded the file and uh, you can also obviously have your uh, own custom columns made and put in here as well. And there's also a slides view by default which is uh, just going to display each image in a slide and uh, you can continue through and, and view the next image. And uh, now I can go backwards or forwards on viewing any of these pictures. Simply going back to the thumbnails view will uh, return us back to the original view we had. Now if I simply come in and select an image, this is going to take me to a bit of an information view on this particular image. Um, I've got the name, also a preview of the image which is larger than the thumbnail one we just had. Uh, and there's also some information regarding the picture down here. If I was to go to edit item, I can come in and start filling in some of this information as far as uh, a description, keywords, you can see here for example scenery, mountains, trees, I uh, might call this one blue as a, as a keyword and I could save that. Now what that does is uh, basically make it that I can now search for the word blue and uh, this image will show up in that search. Another useful thing to do here is uh, you can actually set some mandatory or required fields. Uh, so we could actually say that this keyword is required and then that way during the upload of the image you're actually prompted or the user is prompted to enter in any of the required fields. It can be uh, very useful for actually tagging and um, keeping track of all the images. Again in this um, detailed view I have here, if I actually select the image I'm going to get a full screen view of that uh, image now and I can uh, zoom it or, or back out depending on the resolution of the particular picture. Clicking on back will simply take me back to the view I just had and I can hit close to go back to all of my thumbnails. Another handy way of uploading images, uh, especially in bulk lots, is to actually open the folder uh, beside your window and select either one or multiple images and drag and drop. You'll notice that uh, the window has actually changed and it displays drop here. Letting go of the mouse button and now you can see these extra two pictures have also been uploaded. Well, 
this has been working with picture galleries or image galleries in SharePoint. Thank you for joining me. Please visit us at www.ongc.com.au. Thank you very much.